So basically in this video I'm just gonna explain kind of how I got the world record and my thought process. So first room pretty basic, just some optimization, that kind of stuff. Um, trying to jump exactly as you land on the ground. This room, you need to do a one pixel jump right there. It looks a lot easier than it <laughs> actually was. I normally only get about 10% of the time. So a lot of time is just me restarting the first room over and over and over again. Um, yeah, you can try it for yourself. It's pretty hard. Um, here, don't actually need to land on a platform to get the key. You can touch it with your wings. Kind of push the box to the, right to the edge of the screen and then try to just hop off and go as fast as you can. Um, here, you basically just have to wait for the saw. And right as it passes through the box, just try to get to it as quickly as possible, kind of cutting it uh, super close. And here, uh, just try to rush to the end. Uh, pretty easy in the first part of the level. Try not to hit your feet <laughs> on the edges because it slows you down a little bit. Um, this room is uh, definitely one of my favorites. It's kind of sucky right there. No matter how fast you go, you still have to wait for the second one. Um, this next room. This next room is pretty long and boring. You basically just have to wait for the saw blades no matter what you do. No matter how fast you go. Here, try to cut it as close as, fa uh, as possible. This is one of the rooms where even just saving maybe like half a second is the difference between using half a second and three seconds because this allows you to actually just barely make it under that one saw right there um and then the long run that actually has you save two three or four seconds um which i never knew until a couple days ago so uh that really just boosted up my uh time here this room just trying to fall down as fast as possible pretty simple. This room is also one of the rooms that really annoys me because just no matter how fast you go, you just can't make it to this moving block as you see right here. You're always just a second behind, so you gotta just have to wait here. And yeah, there's nothing you can really do. Same here. No matter what you do, you're gonna have to kind of stop a little. There's no good way to get to this room really fast. You always have to wait for something. This next room, pretty simple. You kind of just want to touch the edge of the hitbox right there in order to make it fall. Save as much time as possible. Um, it's basically just trying to make really precise jumps. Trying to cut down on the time that you're on the ground and you want to really optimize the time that you're in the air. Here you can save about a second by not going over the first one and kind of just falling down right there. Um, otherwise your head would kind of just like slide against the wall. Um, this room is pretty chill. You can make a couple mistakes here, which I've done a ton of times because you basically just have to wait for the platform, so... Yeah. Try to get off the platform as fast as possible, hop over this little guy. Um, you're on to the next room. This one is such a run killer. <laughs> I've died so many times here. You basically have to just squeeze by these little guys. Um, the hitbox is a lot bigger than you might think, so a lot of times I just barely hit my my feet on the top of their heads, just trying to squeeze by them. That's basically how you get through that room. This room, this jump up, this upcoming jump right here is right there. <laughs> the hardest in the game by far. I've died so many times there and it really sucks because you're just like a minute from the end of the run and just dying right there is it's really, really 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 tragic. If you slow down the video you can see that you just barely get it by and you can see that uh, Catbird's ears are just like barely inside the, the saw blade right there too. You just have to book it right there because because of these little cycles that they're going in the circles even if you're just a millisecond late you're gonna have to wait for the next cycle um to come through in order to make it by so even just getting there half second late will lose you like two or three seconds so just barely getting there a little bit faster can save you a ton of time here is a little bit unfortunate that this purple guy hopped up in front of me i think these things jump based in rng sometimes i walk by and it's totally fine and sometimes they hop up in front of me and it makes me lose time. Um, here's the final boss battle, it's a pretty simple boss. Yeah, you have it jump once and then you go under it and it should die within three moves. So here, it jumps once, you go under it and then it just kills itself. 
and you try to get onto this platform right as it appears, and boom. And so there you go, the 504 world record. It took me... I've been playing this game for months, so... Uh, it was pretty exciting to finally get it. I just grinded it out for two or three hours today. And for a ton of time, I just I just kept tying the world record. I just kept getting 507, the same as Kiona right there. And so with a few more optimizations and some other stuff, I was able to get the record. So, yeah.